two trains are traveling towards each other from two towns 300 miles apart. Train A travels at a speed of 60 miles per hour and train B travels at a speed of 90 miles per hour. If both trains start at the same time, how long will it take for the two trains to meet? Consider this is the distance between the two trains that is they are 300 miles apart. Okay, so train A is traveling towards train B and train B is traveling towards train A with a certain speed. Train A's speed is 60 miles per hour and train B's speed is 90 miles per hour. So, how much time will it take for them to meet at a certain point? Now, consider this a real life example. Consider there are two friends standing at a certain distance. If both of you travel towards each other, isn't it true that you will meet much faster than only one of you travels towards the one who is standing? Why it is? Because when one is stationary and another one is moving, only one is working towards other. But when both are working towards each other, both are traveling towards each other, that means they are reducing the time. This also means that they are adding their speed. If A speed is A miles per hour and B speed is B miles per hour and when they are traveling towards each other, there is called a relative speed. Their relative speeds adds and that becomes A plus B miles per hour. What if your friend is traveling towards you and you are traveling away from your friend? Won't it take longer time for B to reach you because you are going away and the friend is traveling towards you? So, when this happens, the relative speed gets subtracted because you are traveling with some speed A miles per hour and B is traveling with some speed B miles per hour. So, the relative speed will be less because you are also traveling away and this friend is coming towards you, it will take much longer time. So, relative speed will be A minus B and this speed will determine the time taken. Time taken to reach a certain point is distance upon speed. So, this speed will not be the normal speed but the relative speed depending on whether they are walking towards each other or away from each other. Now, these two trains are traveling towards each other. That means their relative speed will be adding because it will take much less time because if both are traveling towards each other, so relative speed will be 60 plus 90 miles per hour. So, it will be 150 miles per hour. Now, distance given is 300 miles. Relative speed is 150 miles per hour. So, time taken will be distance upon speed that will be 300 upon 150 or 0, 0 gets cancelled 15 times 2 is 30. So, time taken will be 2 hour. So, it will take 2 hours for them to meet each other. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.